Hello. Our topic for this lesson is punctuation marks. You need just six minutes to complete this lesson. Let's go over to our lesson objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Define punctuation. 2. Recognize the major punctuation marks. 3. Use major punctuation marks in sentences correctly. Let us go over to the definition of punctuation. Definition of punctuation. Punctuation is the use of marks in writing to separate sentences and their elements and to clarify meaning. Punctuation is the use of spacing, signs and marks as aids to the understanding and correct reading of written text. Major types of punctuation. 1. Full stops. 2. Commas. 3. Question marks. 4. Semicolons. 5. Colons. 6. Quotation marks. For this lesson, we will focus on these three, 1. Full stops. 2. Commas. 3. Question marks. Let's go over to full stops. 1. Full stops. It is used to mark the end of a sentence that is not a question or an exclamation. Examples. A. My brother is in the army. B. A word is enough for the wise. 2. It is also used to mark abbreviations. Examples. A. Ph.D. B. B.A. C. M.S.C. Let's go over to commas. 2. Commas. Commas. It helps you to divide a sentence into smaller units of meaning, phrases, and clauses, so as to make it easier to understand its meaning. Commas can replace some of the pauses you make in a speech. The comma is used in the following situations. 1. To separate items in a list of words or word groups. Example. A. My son was told to bring a blanket, sandwiches, cutlery, and a small flute for picnic. Let's go over to see other uses of commas. Uses of commas. 2. To separate two or more adjectives, which qualify the same noun. Sentence example. A. My uncle is a handsome, hard-working, brilliant teacher. 3. To separate phrases or clauses. Sentence example. A. He went to the library, and then he went out for lunch. 4. To separate a tag question, such as, isn't he? Sentence example. Your father served in the army, didn't he? Let's go over to see other uses of commas. Uses of commas. 5. It is placed before a direct speech or a short quotation. Sentence example. A. The girl grumbled and said, I wish I had prepared well for the examination. Commas are one of the most misused punctuation marks and its misuse often results in a comma splice. A comma splice is when you join two independent clauses with a comma instead of a conjunction. Examples A. It is wrong to say, it's almost time for dinner, I'm not hungry. Rather we add a conjunction and say, it's almost time for dinner and I'm not hungry. Let's go over to the third punctuation mark, question marks. 3. Question marks. Question mark. 
It is used at the end of a question. Sentence examples. A. Where do you live? B. Shall we go into the house? C. Could you lend me a thousand nera? D. He asked, can you recite the national anthem? Let's go over to assignment. Assignment. You can pause the video and write out these sentences on your notebook. At full stops, commas, and question marks were needed in the following sentences. One has been done for you. Let us go over to Summary In summary, we've been able to learn the following. 1. How to define punctuation. 2. How to recognize the major punctuation marks. 3. How to use major punctuation marks in sentences correctly. I hope you enjoyed the class, see you in the next lesson. Thanks, and goodbye.